All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking once again about this upcoming major winter storm. We expect a ton of snowfall, a ton of freezing rain, and even some flooding rain as well uh, down south. We're gonna be talking about all of that within this video. Anyways, before we get into this video, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. For today's comment of the day, I want to know which state do you think will be impacted the most by this winter storm. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look at our national radar imagery. As you can see, we have a ton of uh, different areas of precipitation going on. We have some up here for the northwest, some up here for the upper midwest, some here for the Great Lakes. Uh, some down here for the south central United States and then some down here for the southwest. So we have like five different areas or so of precipitation going on right now. The dr driest area right now I would say is along the eastern seaboard where you can see there's really no precipitation anywhere. So it's pretty dry along the eastern seaboard. Let's go ahead and zoom into the west here. I want to I take a look real quickly. Now we do have just these persistent little showers heading on shore and we saw this yesterday. We saw this a lot in December as well, uh, and this is leading towards some snowfall here in the Cascades, and we even see some snowfall here for uh, western Montana through southern Montana as well, uh, just kind of around this morning. So we're going to be watching for some snowfall in these regions, also some showers over here uh, along the western portions of the Pacific Northwest there, so Portland up to Seattle. That's pretty classic, you know, that's usually where you see a lot of the precipitation take place. Uh, let's go ahead and head to the southwest, take a look at what's going on down here, because not every day you see precipitation in this region, but we do have an area of showers basically from Flagstaff all the way to Los Angeles, um, so kind of around southern or northern Arizona, southern California, and then southern Nevada, we do have an area uh, just of some showers, and it looks like if you take a look offshore, there is some more of those to come, but they could dry up over time. Uh, but those do look like they are heading kind of in the direction here of Southern California. We're going to be watching for that also. Now let's take a big old look here at the upper Midwest where we did have some snow showers going on. Those have relatively dried up. We do have some lingering here for the northern regions of North Dakota and Minnesota. Uh, earlier in the night, kind of in the middle of the night, we did have plenty of these showers around. But again, they've weakened over time uh, to where now they're kind of a... Um, a shell of their former selves, really, if you ask me here, these snow showers, and those are going to generally head up north of the border over time, uh, if not just completely diminish over this region. Now let's head south, this is going to be for the south central United States, and uh, we do have plenty of precipitation starting up for this region, you can almost see a spin to it, um, this is a pretty potent area of precipitation, uh, and to me, it looks like it is kind of heading northward a little bit. So we could be expecting some of this precipitation to make its way onshore to the southeastern and south central United States. It actually was impacting the northern coast of uh, Texas here for a while, bringing impacts along that seaboard there uh, earlier this morning and into kind of last night. So we're going to be watching for this very, very potent area of precipitation over time because it is actually pretty hefty. We see a lot of these reds and oranges down here. Plenty of yellows and oranges here, uh, so we're going to have to watch for all of these impacts over time. Now let's quickly move up to the Great Lakes where we did have kind of an area of snowfall move across the state of Michigan mostly. Here they've diminished by now, but it did move across the state of Michigan and a bit of northern Ohio as well there. Uh, and I want to say it even moved across the northern uh, or the upper peninsula here. Yeah, it moved right across there as well. And that has moved up into Canada. So now it's out of the states by this point. Interesting. All right. So not a lot going on. There is some lighter areas of precipitation. And then one very, very heavy area of precipitation. But it's mostly offshore. But that's what's going on right now. We're going to have a lot more activity coming up. Because we're going to move on and talk about the models. And there is a ton of precipitation on the way. Whether that be snow, ice, or rain. Uh, we have a big old storm on its way. And we need to talk about it. All right, now here we are taking a look at the European model. Let's just move it a little bit ahead to where we're at about this morning. I would say it's going to be about late this morning, so probably when most of you are watching this video. We do have a bit of a trough there in the western United States, a bit of one here in the east as well. Looks about like this, but what we're going to see happen is a lot of this warm air is going to shove up into here, also coming from the Gulf as well. Uh, and we're going to see this actually head further and further north. 
here. So things are going to be generally warming over the next couple of days in this region. Uh, and then what we're going to see happen is this is going to really shove down this cold air. It's going to dig into these regions and then we're going to see this storm kind of form across this. And that's what's going to allow the cold air to return to this region. We're going to see this violent shift uh, to very warm in the east, cold in the west. We're kind of seeing that happen already. And then it's going to shift and flip very violently. And that's what's going to lead towards a lot of the things that we're going to see happen. Um, so as you can see, by the time we're reaching Wednesday morning, this is really pushing further and further north out ahead of the storm. We do see this moisture coming from the Gulf as well into these regions. Uh, and then we're seeing this cold really dig into these regions. Uh, and what's happening in between this is we're seeing this kind of get pinched here uh, between the warmth and the cold. And that's what's allowing for a lot of this energy to develop. And then we're going to see the cold front just, or sorry, the low pressure system better yet, move right across that line. We're seeing snowfall develop here on the northern edge there. We're seeing rainfall on the southern end, probably uh, a lot of rainfall here where this energy is mostly heading north here. That's where we're going to get a lot of precipitation, and then there will be freezing rain in between that we need to watch for as well. So as you can see, by the time we're reaching Wednesday afternoon, this storm is really going to build in even further. We're seeing more and more precipitation move in from these regions uh, throughout all these states. We're seeing the snowfall get a lot heavier uh, throughout all of these regions here, specifically Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan and Ohio we're watching for. We do see a lot of freezing rain just to the south of there in between the rain and the snow. We're going to be watching that very closely as well. And what's interesting is this first bit of energy moves up into Canada, kind of moves out, uh, but we see a second area of energy developing behind it along this very, very potent cold front that we're seeing. Again, the cold air is uh, shoving its way down just like this. We're seeing the warm air still trying to shove its way up north, and that's why we're seeing a lot of this Again, just pinching going on where there's just a very, very potent line of precipitation with that kind of low pressure system moving along it. Let's move ahead just a couple of hours. And as you can see, we have a very strong area of freezing rain from Texas up through Oklahoma, Arkansas, at Missouri, a lot of these states like Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, even Tennessee involved there. These areas are probably where some of the worst impacts will be felt is along that ice storm area because it's just looking so incredibly potent, the amount of freezing rain we're going to see come down. And also a lot of snowfall here, especially for the Ohio Valley that we're watching for also. Uh, we see this begin to finally move north by the time we're taking a look at Thursday evening. This will be about 8 p.m. on Thursday, and it's going to be February 3rd. We can see most of the most potent areas of precipitation have moved up more into the northeastern United States. We're still seeing uh, a lot of this precipitation move in from the Gulf. So better yet, it looks a lot more like this moving just from the south of it, but we're seeing this cold front blast through at the same time. And we're going to see the trough eventually move into the eastern United States. We're going to watch that happen just like that. So we're seeing this cold front finally along the eastern seaboard. We see the trough just about there. We see a ridge out west again. And then finally, it moves in just like this. So we'll see something like this of sorts move in. It's going to be pretty brief. I don't expect this pattern to be the predominant one throughout the month of February. I've mentioned that in my February videos. I expect quite the opposite of this. So uh, that is my expectations at this point. Let's take a look at total snowfall. If you're anywhere in the grays, it's dusting, if anything. Blue, it's going to be 2 to 6 inches of snowfall. Purples will be 6 to 10. Pinks will be 10 to 20. And then these pastel areas like we see here in Illinois, Indiana, and maybe a bit of Michigan and Ohio there. So I'm underlining it here. That is where we're expecting 20 to 30 inches of snowfall to take place. Also in between New Mexico and Colorado, we see some of these mountaintops getting those amounts as well. Very, very large amounts of snowfall. Let's just zoom into the east real quick so we get some numbers on screen. Uh, very large area of 10 inches plus here in all of these pink regions. Uh, very, very large actually. And the swath that it takes from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, all the way up through New England, and everywhere in between. This is a very, very large snowstorm we expect to take place here. Then if we take a look at the freezing rain total, we expect anywhere from half an inch to an inch to be possible for a lot of these states in here. Uh, the deeper the pink there, the, the more freezing rain we're seeing. But also up through New York and New England as well, we're seeing a lot of this freezing rain. So we expect a very, very impactful freezing rain event to take place and even back into the central United States here, Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma there, uh, even Tennessee, Kentucky, 
Illinois, Indiana. So this is going to take up a huge swath of the entire storm here um, as it moves through. A very major ice storm, very major snowstorm as well. Uh, and I'm very concerned about these impacts. Let's take a look at the GFS quickly. Let's see the difference here. And it's a bit further south and a bit more potent here with these snowfall amounts. Let's take a look at the east real quick. Um, it does have 20 inches to 30 inches throughout the same region. So Illinois, Indiana, Ohio here, even maybe Michigan. Very interesting to see that. But it, this, this model has 15 to 20 inches throughout a lot of these brighter pinks in here. And it has that much more widespread um, than the European model had. So we're seeing a bit more snowfall here on our GFS model. Uh, that's sleet. Let's take a look at freezing rain. So this model has an inch plus for some of these regions here for Arkansas, maybe northern Mississippi, uh, western Tennessee there, western Kentucky. Very, very large amounts of freezing rain potentially here, even through central Kentucky. We're going to need to be watching for these conditions. Let's move back to the central United States here. We do have half an inch plus for a lot of these regions as well. So we're going to be watching for these icy impacts as well as the very major amounts of snowfall that are expected at this point. All right, for today's confidence tab, I'm not moving up yet just because of how the models have been handling these storms. I'm still not super confident. So we're at a four out of six today, uh, just like we were yesterday. I do expect to potentially move up over the coming days. But every single time I've said that with these previous storms, I'd say over the, at least the past month or so, uh, I've ended up actually feeling less confident the next day. So we will have to see if this one maybe is different or if we're going to be lowering in confidence and getting some disagreement here soon, which would be the wrong direction to be heading, let me tell you. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys yesterday, uh, when do you think our next major winter storm after this one will be? And James Marr said, I think the next major snowstorm will be sometime after uh, this one next week in the eastern United States. Uh, and I definitely think we've been seeing one about every single week, so I do expect the same. I expect us to be moving right towards the next one. We've been in a very active pattern, and I don't really see that ending very soon at least. Uh, now for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Platinum patrons, Bill Crates, James Wade, Dovin Nagel, Lerla the Pan, Mandy Birchfield, Patrick Strickland, Dave Scott, and Donna Carnes as well. I would also like to thank our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kuhl, Lessa Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Bill Dallas, Gary's, and John Quilisi also. I would also like to thank our channel members Catbite, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cock as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.